Welcome back. Here we are learning the first 11 psukim of Perik Yodal. We're still in Parshas Vayishlach. And if you have a Chumash, here we go. Vatisa kol ha'eda. Vayitnu et kolam. And the entire congregation, the entire assembly, they lifted up their voices. Vayitisa kol ha'eda. They lifted up. Vayitnu et kolam. And they gave their voices. That means that obviously they were making some type of sounds. There, were, there, was, there was some groaning. There was something going on. And the Pasuk becomes more clear as we go on. And the nation cried at, on that night. Pasuk bet. And they complained. They complained against or towards to Moshe and Aaron. Who? This is not just the Miraglim. It's Kol B'nai Yisrael. All of B'nai Yisrael complains to Moshe and Aaron. Vayom Raleim, and they said to them, to Moshe and Aaron, Kol Aida, Lumasnu Be'eretz Mitzrayim. Lumasnu, it would have been better for us to have died. Be'eretz Mitzrayim, O Bamidbar Hazel Lumasnu. It would have been better for us to have died in Eretz Mitzrayim, O, or in this Midbar, it would have been better for us to die. Okay? Pasuk Gimel Velama, Velama Hashem Mevi Otanu El Ha'aretz Hazot. Now, why did Hashem bring us to this land? Lin Pol Bacherev, right? This land is talking, why is Hashem going to bring us to this land? That land that he's discussing, you're speaking about, is Eretz Yisrael. What's going to happen there, they're saying? Lin Pol Bacherev, they're, gonna, they're going to fall in sword, meaning they're going to die in war. Not only are they going to die, but also, Nashenu, our wives, Vitapenu, and our children, Yula Vaz. They will be taken as Vaz, as captives. Halo tovlanu shuv mitzrayma. Halo tovlanu. Is, wouldn't it be better for us, shuv mitzrayma, to la shuv, to return to mitzrayim? Right? Why would we go when we would get killed in Eretz Yisrael? It's better, let's just, let's just make a U-turn and go back to mitzrayim. We'll live there. Pazik dar vayomer ish el Man said to his brother. But man said to, to uh, people were talking amongst themselves. That's what, what's, what's their idea? Nit narosh v'nashuva mitzrayma. We need to point ahead and we'll return to Mitzrayim. Upon hearing this, Vayipol Moshe ve'aharon al penehem. Moshe and Aaron fall on their faces. Lifnei kol kahal adat b'nei Yisrael. In front of everybody, in front of all b'nei Yisrael watching, they fall on their faces. Pasuk vav. V'yoshua binu v'chali ben yifuna min atarim et ha'aretz. Then Yoshua and Kal, Yoshua and Kalev, the Pasuk describes them as min hatarim, as they were of, they were amongst, or they were from those that scouted tarim latur, those that scouted the land. What did they do? Karu big dehem. They ripped their clothing as a, as a sign of of mourning. Pasuk zayin vayomruk el kol adat b'nei Yisrael. Now Kalev and Yoshua and Kalev are going to be speaking for the next few psukim. They said to everybody, lay more they said, ha'aret asher avarinu va'laturota, the land that we passed through it, laturota, to scout it out, tova ha'aretz ma'od ma'od. The land is very, very amazing. It's very, very good. It's very, very wonderful. Pasuk And, not only that, that, it's not only that it, the land is wonderful, but, im chafetz banu Hashem, if God wills it, if God chafetz, if God desires it, and he brings us to this land, he'll give it to us. He can give it to us. Eretz, and this, what is this land? It's an Eretz asher hizavat chalavu devash. It's a land that flows with milk and honey. Basically, they're saying, if God wants us to win the war and God wants us to beat all the surrounding nations, we can do that. Pasuk Tet. Ach, however, Bahashem al Timrodu. Do not Timrodu, do not rebel against God. Va'atem and you, B'nai Yisrael, al Aretz. Don't be scared of the nations of the land. That means all the enemies that are living in Eretz Canaan. Why? Ki nuhem. Because they're our bread. Meaning we can devour them, we can eat them, we can destroy them, we can defeat them. Probably as easy as bread. It's like 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 bread. We can we, we can we can eat them up. Sar tzila me'alim. Their protective shield, their tzel, their shadow, or their their protection has sar. It's left. It's gone away. Vashem and God is with us. God is on our side. Al tiraum. Do not be scared. Vayomru and they said kol vayomru kol ha'eda. So this is an this is an exciting speech. It's a motivational speech. Does it work? It does not work at all. Pasuk yud. Vayomru kol ha'eda. The entire nation says back to Yoshua and Kalev. What's their idea? Lirgomo tam ba'avanim. They want to pelt them, Yoshua and Kalev, ba'avanim with stones. All of a sudden, they, Hashem hears this, and what happens? Uchvod Hashem nirab oel moin, and the presence of God, the glory of God, Uchvod Hashem, the glory of God nira appeared oel moin in the oel moin, 
El Kol B'nai Yisrael, in the, in the face, or uh, El Kol B'nai Yisrael, to B'nai Yisrael, meaning B'nai Yisrael saw that something happened, that the glory of God became present in the, in the Ohel Moed at that time. That is the end of Pasuk Yud.